don't uh, mind my mess on the table there. It happened in the rain. Well, I tell you what, it's been a it's been a marathon here the last couple days. So there she is, the uh, Kettle River Pizza Man is uh, complete, ready to go. Um, so chip coating from that body line down. Uh, we did some rocket repair. Uh, that door had a ding in this corner and it got to where I just didn't like it so I reskinned it. You can see a little bit of the seam there because we didn't use any body filler on it. And that door has a little bit of a, a hoopty in the bottom right there, a little dent ding. Um, if it gets to the point where I have to repair that, then we will. But otherwise, this thing looks way, way better than it did. Um, new hubcaps, obviously. And a tiny bit of overspray on that tire that I didn't get all the way off, but that's all right. Um, uh, one thing, a uh, pet peeve for me is go in and take a little black spray paint and black out your wheel wells again when you get overspray in them. So I touched up the lettering on both sides. If you look real close, you can see the touch-up paint. Um, but that's way, way cheaper than having it re-lettered. And from five feet away, you can't even hardly tell. So, uh, new custom bumper. I didn't make any video when I was putting that bumper on. So I got to apologize for that or when I was fabricating it. But we're going to do another one for the other van. Provided that they like this job. If they didn't like this job, then I guess we won't do another one. But um, 72 inches. We made some custom corners. A little bit of a footstep here. So there's a step. Um, we can talk about a couple of things there and then wrap the corner. So it actually looks decent. I know a lot of people just run a piece of I-beam on there and call it a day. Uh, I'm not that guy. I'll, I'll need to get this back uh, next oil change. I'd like to put another coat on it just because... I put two on it, but I'd like to get in eh, the road salt and all that stuff. I'd like to get a little bit better uh, adhesion and coating on there. And yeah, just just for my personal preference. But um, back doors installed, insulated. I didn't do uh, much for video when I was inst ins insulating the doors because there was just too much going on. So as far as this footstep goes... Um, and then we installed their backup camera, a little slit in there because the coax runs all the way to the front and I didn't want to pull that whole thing out, just save them labor and cut a little slit in the bumper. But, um, as far as that step goes, I know you can make them a variety of different ways. My theory is, you know, don't mind the dust on this thing. It's, it's just grit. It'll be fine. Some of it's, uh, I left this little lip here, so... The sole on your suit, shoe can catch on that. And then you can also smack it with your ice scraper. Scrape the ice off either side. That's why we didn't use a piece of angle or fill this pocket in. So you want to be able to have ways to get that ice and stuff out of there in the wintertime. Because in Minnesota, it'll build up in there. Same reason I don't weld tread plate on there. Once you weld tread plate on there and that fills with ice, yeah, you'll get it out in April. Or the next time I have it in my shop and thaw it out for you because it's not coming off on its own at all. So, yeah, I'd like to get one more coat on that um, on the next oil change. The E350, E350 versus E150 badge. I didn't dink with it because they're actually, it's a bigger badge and it has different locating holes. So, um it's fine. Nobody cares. Except Luke. Uh, around to this side. We're, we did some rocker panel repair down there. You can see the one right below the door. It sticks down just a little bit different than the rest. Well, there's a reason for that. Because there's some structure there in that body and the collision stuff. And I didn't want to be start cutting into anything there trying to make it fit flat. So it was just overlay the top of it and then call it a day. The one behind that, you can see right, eh, kind of right there to back there. That one uh, is a little bit different. And then that you notice that pinch weld was janky before. I took a one inch strip of steel 
and I put a couple of series of pop rivets in there in the structural parts that I could get a hold of and just gave it a little flash so it looks decent. Um, again, 360,000 miles and we're trying to stay on some sort of a budget here. We don't have, we're not going to spend 10,000 bucks trying to fix this thing. So, um, otherwise they'd be putting a down payment on a different one. Uh, I did glass. I swapped the door seals from the driver's side to the pa or passenger side, driver's side, swapped those ones because they were getting a little worn. You know, with a route driver, you don't have too many on that side. So we just swapped them from side to side. Why charge them for a new seal when you can put it over there? How many people are adding a passenger side? Not too many, unless you're training somebody in. So, and uh, cleaned up the grill. We uh, cleaned up the bumper. As I said, that little wing ding right there is the one that we couldn't uh, get out quite get out with the porta power, but she looks a hundred percent better in the front. Uh, cleaned up the valence down there a little bit. Cleaned up the grill. Put in a marker light or yep parking light on that side put in a new bulb on the license plate because that was burned out so all their lights are in check everything works and this thing is ready to hit the road guys it's been a marathon it's been a it's it's been a challenge to get done in four days honestly i mean you're rushing everything and you're really cutting the your timelines close especially with drying times so there was a little bit of a juggling match there going on with trying to juggle everything and get it all to work out at the same time, but we figured it out. So there you go. If you guys enjoy the content or if it helps you out on your own project, there is a super thanks button down there. If somebody wants to try that out, you can donate to the channel and help us keep our things going around on around here and um jump in on a live stream we always have fun in there subscribe if you haven't ring the bell and uh stick around for more projects like this hopefully we'll have another one of these to do i got a lot of other projects coming um next project in the shop is going to be that 97 ram 3500 but we gotta get the shop clean first because it's a disaster appreciate you see you on the next one Okay. Get get the close up. Oh my gosh, it's not even the same thing. I said it can't be. Oh my god. Isn't that something? What did you do? I thought you were just using the door.